The story we tell ourselves shapes how we see the world. When life gets tough, it reinforces the idea that life is difficult, blaming external factors or past circumstances. But what if we remove those excuses? What if we start fresh? Even then, we'd still have to take action. We're naturally creative beings, but stress often holds us back. When we're constantly stressed, we're in survival mode, not creation mode. Living in survival mode makes it hard to believe in a better future. But sometimes, hitting rock bottom opens our eyes. We start observing ourselves from a different perspective. But why wait for rock bottom? We can learn and grow through joy and inspiration instead of pain and suffering. If we wake up every day driven by our vision for the future, rather than dwelling on the past, we can elevate ourselves. We can observe our old selves from a higher state of mind. It takes effort, sure, but just because we think something doesn't make it true, we have the power to change our thoughts and consequently our reality. Reality isn't as fixed as we think. Understanding the relationship between our mind and the world around us is key. If we want to influence outcomes with our intentions, we must grasp how reality can shift and why. Otherwise, we'll struggle to shape our own destinies. Imagine a future event you want in your life. It's already out there in the quantum field, beyond space and time, just waiting for you to notice it. If your thoughts and feelings can influence where an electron appears, then you can surely shape the appearance of any possibility you can think of from a quantum perspective. If you see yourself in a new future and expect it to happen, you're living in that future reality for a moment. You're telling your body to believe in that future now. The quantum model tells us that all possibilities exist right now. So, we can pick a new future and make it real just by observing it. Most of the universe is energy or possibility. That means there are countless potentials out there that we might not even notice. But it also means that we're constantly creating, whether we realize it or not. If you think the same way every day, you're keeping the same patterns in your life. Mental rehearsal isn't just daydreaming. It's how you can bring your desired reality into being. By focusing on what you want and not on what you don't want, you can make your dreams real. Where you put your attention is where your energy goes. So when you focus on a possibility, you're putting your energy there too. You're shaping reality with your thoughts and observations. The placebo effect isn't just a trick. It's how quantum reality works. We're all on a journey back to unity and we can be anyone we want in this reality. But if you're stuck in the same emotions every day, nothing will change until you decide to change. Many people wait until they hit rock bottom, feeling like nothing can make their pain go away, before they start to examine their thoughts, actions, and emotions. But why wait for that moment of despair? What we're learning now is that within just seven days, amazing changes can happen in our bodies making us look like we're living a whole new life. So why do people struggle with this change? It's often because they don't truly believe in themselves or the possibility of change. Belief is crucial. If you don't believe in the possibility of change, you're essentially saying you don't believe in yourself. And if you don't believe in yourself, you're closing yourself off from countless possibilities. Stepping beyond our physical reality isn't easy, but it's incredibly rewarding. When we disconnect from our three-dimensional world, we enter the quantum realm, a place of endless potential. Describing this realm can be tricky because it operates by rules that are very different from what we're used to. In the quantum realm, there's an invisible field of energy and information, an intelligence beyond space and time. It governs everything in nature, Scientists are working hard to understand it better, and they're making discoveries all the time. From what I've learned, I believe there's a sort of organizing intelligence in this field. It's the energy that shapes the universe, bringing order out of chaos. Think about it. After a big explosion like the Big Bang, we'd expect disorder. 
but instead we see incredible order. That suggests there's some form of intelligence behind it all, the quantum or unified field. To grasp the concept, imagine wiping away everything on Earth, all the people, animals, plants, and even the planet itself. That's the scale of the quantum field, a vast, unseen force shaping the very fabric of reality. Many people wait until they hit rock bottom, feeling like nothing can ease their pain, before they take a close look at their thoughts, actions, and feelings. But why wait for such a low point? Recent findings show that within just seven days, our bodies can undergo incredible changes, making it seem like we're living an entirely new life. So, why do folks struggle with this transformation? Often, it's because they lack belief in themselves or the potential for change. Belief is key. If you don't believe change is possible, you're essentially doubting yourself and doubting yourself shuts you off from countless opportunities. Moving beyond our everyday reality isn't simple, but it's highly rewarding. When we detach from our familiar world, we enter the quantum realm, a realm of limitless potential. Explaining this realm can be tricky because its rules are unlike anything we're used to. In the quantum realm, there's an unseen field of energy and information a force beyond our usual understanding of space and time. It governs everything in nature. Scientists are striving to comprehend it better, continually making new discoveries. Based on what I've learned, I believe there's an intelligence at work in this field, an energy that shapes the universe, bringing harmony from chaos. Consider this. After a massive explosion like the Big Bang, we might expect disorder, yet we see remarkable order instead. This suggests there's some form of intelligence guiding it all, the quantum or unified field. To grasp the idea, picture wiping away everything on Earth, all the people, animals, plants, even the planet itself. That's the scale of the quantum field, a vast, unseen power molding the very essence of reality. What do you do with two hours in the morning? That's a good chunk of time. Well, if I can conquer myself early on, the rest of my day feels smoother. Here's what I do. I set aside those two precious hours. Okay, sometimes I'm up even before the sun, like today, waking up at 3 a.m. because of my messed up time zone. But I like the 4 a.m. slot. It's when my brain waves are just right. I don't have to push myself as hard. Sure, my body might feel a bit tired, but my mind is in that sweet spot between worlds. Have you ever tried to consciously manifest anything like this? Do you have your own way? How do you put the law of attraction in action? Tell us your experiences below the video. So, I get up and make the most of those two hours. Sometimes I finish my routine in just 45 minutes or an hour and I'm good to go. Other times, life gets busy with meetings and whatnot, but I refuse to fall into the trap of common thinking. So, what's my routine? It's a mix of meditation, affirmations, and visualizations. Basically, the inner work. The first step in creating a new reality is overcoming your current self, the habits, emotions, and thoughts that hold you back. Some days, it's effortless, like hitting a perfect shot in golf. Other days, it takes more effort. But I've found that the toughest days are often the most rewarding. That's when you're truly committed to change. You see, the key is being present in the moment. That's where the magic happens, where the unknown becomes possible. When you're fully present, you're no longer stuck in old patterns or worried about the future. It's like hitting that perfect shot in tennis, you're in the zone and everything falls into place. That's when you stop creating from a place of opposites and start creating from a place of wholeness. You know, people tend to create when they see something they don't have. Like, if they see someone with a nice suit, they might think, I want one too. And before you know it, they're wearing a similar suit. It's like our brains are wired to do that, to see something and automatically want it. But here's the thing. After imagining having it, 
When they open their eyes and realize they don't have it, they feel a sense of lack. We're not that good yet at manifesting things instantly. So the key is to practice enough times until you feel so connected to the energy of your future that you're no longer searching or waiting for it. You feel like it's already happened. But here's where it gets tricky. The moment you get upset in traffic or start judging someone, you disconnect from that energy. You're back to the energy of your past. And if you blame someone else for your problems, you're falling back into the victim mentality. So the real work is learning to navigate through life's challenges with clarity and purpose. It's about making conscious choices instead of reacting impulsively. And sometimes it can feel lonely because you realize you're on this journey alone. You can't rely on others' opinions because they're based on their own experiences. But here's the thing. I've talked to many people who have healed themselves from various health issues, and they all say the same thing. They reached a point where they made up their minds to change. That's the power of determination and belief in yourself.